So hello, um, welcome to all my East Coast folks and good morning to all my West Coast people out there. For my role, I specifically recruit software engineers into our Future Force program in the US. Um, so today I'll be taking you through a couple of things to help prepare you for a successful recruiting season or process for a Future Force role. I'll start off by giving a brief overview of our software engineering timelines and then talk a little bit more about specific competencies we look for in these roles. I'll round off with a brief discussion with Nikul Joshi, who is a recent hire, but who came in through the Future Force process. Um, he'll be talking about his recruiting experience and also what life has been like at Salesforce for him since he started. So strap in, this should be a fun and informative session for you. And we'll have a few minutes at the end of this also to ask, answer any questions that you have. All right, so with that said, just gonna slide on in into uh, role review and competencies. Um, our software engineering internship roles are open to undergraduate or graduate students who gra um, currently enrolled in a degree program. Our new grad programs are open to students who will have or who have graduated within the last 12 months. Our applications open in August and students are encouraged to apply and complete their hacker rank assessment. Now for the hacker rank, we have a video um, with some tips on how to prepare for your hacker rank. This video was prepared by a senior engineer at Salesforce and it has like just a lot of tips to help you get through this. Um, and I would definitely encourage you all to check that out. Just make sure that you're taking a deep breath and you're going through this and you're able to get through the hacker rank successfully. We do review applications on a rolling basis throughout the fall. So feel free to take your time and make sure you're satisfied with the application before you submit. Successful candidates move on to interviews with a specific team, following which an offer may be made. So now that we've talked about those basic eligibility criteria for the role, what else are we looking for? What are those specific competencies that will help just put you ahead of the game? Um, what would we like to see on your resume to help make the most of your candidacy? So we'd like to see students who um, are enrolled and working towards obtaining a bachelor's or a master's in computer science or related fields. That's just gonna give you that extra edge there. Please note that in order to be eligible for an internship, we do require that you be returning to school the following quarter or semester to work towards completing your degree. Students must be um, attending a university in North America for our roles in the Americas region. We do have software engineering roles open in EMEA and APAC regions. So those are Europe um, as well as Asia Pacific regions. Um, so we would definitely encourage you to check those out if those region, regions are of interest to you. While this is definitely not a requirement, academic or professional internship experience working in a professional coding setting is a plus. If you don't have experience, don't stress about it. That is totally fine. This is still an early career role, so everyone is definitely welcome. That said, we do require a strong understanding of computer science fundamentals and how to apply them to code in order to be successful in this role. And then finally, just to add a special touch, um, definitely would encourage you to incorporate our four principles. Those are trust, customer success, innovation, and equality, just to put you a little bit ahead and to show that you've been thinking about Salesforce as a preferred company of choice um, and to show you that you just, you just put a little bit more thought into your application. That's a lot of information, but hopefully, um, you know, that's giving you just some of the things that we're looking for there. Um, so now you've successfully submitted your application. Let's say you've included all the important experiences in your resume. You've, you know, put in all those little tips that's going to push you ahead. You've passed your hacker rank assessment. And now look, you've been invited to interview with the team. Now what? What do you do during your interview process? What do you do to kind of stand out again and make sure that you're making the best impression? First of all, would encourage you all to review our company's values and product offerings. That way you're able to speak about Salesforce in a knowledgeable way and you're able to just show that you've put in a lot of research and effort into this. Want you to stay in the know on all things Salesforce by reading the latest Salesforce blogs. Again, just to show that you're putting some thought into it. Um, just as our uh, Salesforce blogs has a lot of just tips and things like that about Salesforce, what's currently happening in the company, what's top of mind for us, what we're, we're interested in, what we value and things like that. Would also definitely encourage you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We are very active on all social medias, um, or at least the, the more, more popular ones. Um, and it will definitely give you a deeper understanding of our university programs. That way you're just able to see what we offer, our important timelines, things like that, um, that would just help you through this process. For the interviews, they will be both behavioral and technical, so be ready to answer a mix of questions. 
code may be required, so be prepared to whiteboard and also be prepared to think through your thought process out loud. We want to make sure they're able to explain your code to someone else and that you're able to problem solve out loud from A to Z and bring your interviewer along with you through that process. Most importantly, um, be authentic. Throughout this process, it's an opportunity for us to get to know you because we are looking at the end of the day at hiring you. So the best thing for you to do is to make sure that you are bringing your most authentic self, however that looks, to your interview. So again, a lot of information. Um, I hope you've all been able to learn a thing or two here on how to stand out with your application, your hacker rank, and your interview. Um, I'd now like to... And I'd like to invite Nicole on stage. Um, Nicole was in your shoes a couple of years ago. He was able to, he'll be able to give just a little bit better insight into what it's like to go through the Future Force recruiting process. Hi, Nicole. Hey, hi, hi, Femi. How's it going? It's going good, thank you. Awesome. All right, well, I'm hoping you can do just a brief intro and just a quick overview of what you do at Salesforce. Mm -hmm. Sure, so hello. I Hello all, and to give a little bit background about myself, uh, my name is Nakul Joshi, and I graduated from University of North Carolina Charlotte uh, with a master's in computer science. Uh, I have a few years of experience working in cloud and DevOps. Uh, I did my summer internship at Salesforce, and thereafter was offered a full-time position as a software engineer at Salesforce. So that's about me. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. Um, hoping just to um, ask a couple of questions here to help just deep dive deeper into your experience. So I know you interned with us. What was that internship experience like? Oh, sure, I'll be happy to share my internship experience here. So uh, one would have assumed that being a part of the first virtual internship uh, batch in the middle of the pandemic uh, would have a lot of unexpected challenges, right? Uh, but that was absolutely not what happened. Rather, in all the honesty, the ride felt really very smooth. Uh, and for that, I have to appreciate the way Future Force team worked on all the fronts. Uh, I mean, they made sure we use a right sort of online platforms and tools to stay connected, uh, and the collaboration doesn't get hampered. Uh, they had arranged a lot of events, quizzes, games, activities uh, that we all could participate right from our homes. Uh, to be honest, I never felt I wasn't physically present in the office. Uh, one thing I would specifically like to highlight is the volunteering time uh, that we were given to, uh, and I truly admire Salesforce for giving back to the community. Uh, speaking about my team, um, again, they never made me feel like I was an intern there. Uh, the team was extremely helpful and always appreciative of the work I did. Um, and you know what? One thing that I liked a lot is the transparency uh, and the clear vision this program is built on. Uh, I'll give you a small example. So on the very first day in the induction, uh, we were told about our internship path, uh, the work, reviews, presentation, and a possible return offer. Uh, and the whole program ran exactly as told. Uh, so to make it short, I'll say it was very, very well structured. Um, yeah, and that's about my internship experience at Salesforce. Awesome. Well, thank you for that. Um, so you did mention, you know, volunteer time being important in Salesforce. I know that's definitely one of my favorite things about Salesforce is just their committed their commitment to, you know, the society, society environment, things like that. What is one of your favorite things about being a part of Salesforce? Oh, that's a very nice question. Uh, you know, I have a bunch of favorite things to pick, uh, but the most favorite thing I would say being a part of the Ohana. Uh, for those who don't know what Ohana means, uh, it means family. Uh, so in Salesforce, we do not look at our peers uh, as just co-workers or colleagues, but we look at each other as family members. Uh, everyone is always ready to help and support each other. And I truly believe uh, uh, the world would be a better place to live uh, if people start having more emotions towards each other. Uh, and I'm proud and blessed to be a part of such an organization uh, with such a culture. Uh, so yes, the culture of Salesforce is definitely my favorite thing about being a part of Salesforce. Awesome, that's great. Yeah, we definitely love working together. We love collaborating, making sure that we're there for each other. So yeah, definitely also one of my really good things, favorite things about Salesforce. Um, so just to round off here, um, do you have any advice for interns your position at Salesforce? Uh, sure. So as this segment is related to software engineering, I would focus my two cents mostly on that. Uh, one thing that I feel is important is to know your resume well. Uh, that is your source of truth, and the interviewer would ask you questions around that. Uh, so I, I always suggest that it's best to know literally each and every word on your resume. 
Uh, next thing would be more technical and you know what I'm going to say. Uh, that's right, you need to know how to code. Uh, so please do practice hacker rank. Uh, I personally think practicing system design will uh, give you a strong understanding of how things work. Um, and then of course, I cannot stress enough on the need to sharpen your communication skills as well. So they are equally important. Uh, so yes, I think that pretty much sums it up. Uh, if anyone has specific questions with regards to this question or anything else, I mean, I'll be happy to answer that as well. Awesome. So, I mean, looking back, I know you've mentioned a lot about like, making sure that you're strengthening your coding skills and things like that. But looking back, is there anything that you wish you knew going into your internship? Uh, I mean, frankly speaking, the way it was structured was just awesome uh, because they made sure that we had fun. We get all the learning. We get all the support from the team. And in fact, the other teams as well. So it was more about, I'll say, they prepared us there. And then it was the application of the learning we had during our internship. So I'll say the first few weeks uh, where we were prepared well, and the next few weeks were the actual application of the learnings we had. So uh, I would just say that, yeah, of course, uh, sharpening the communication skills is very important because sometimes I feel uh, in an individual, uh, he's technically sound, but if he starts getting into a silo, uh, then it gets problematic. So it's just that you need to go out and ask for help and talk with people and everyone is super friendly to you know help you out. Awesome, great. I definitely can vouch for everyone being super friendly and super helpful, even in my role, not being a software engineer, but I can imagine that's important as well. So thank you so much again, Nicole. Um, we'll now like to open it up. If anyone has any questions in the audience, anything that we can help you with. I'm a recruiter, Nicole's a software engineer, so the whole gamut, feel free to ask any questions that you have at this point. Okay, um, Nicole, any hacker rank tips? Uh, frankly speaking, you need to practice well. So I personally did lead code and hacker rank. Uh, so there are like difficulty levels of the questions like easy, medium and hard. Uh, when you start, don't get disappointed, don't get disheartened. They are tough. Uh, I mean, I've heard people sometimes saying they're pretty easy and they can do it, but no, you need to practice. That's what I've done. Uh, and once you start practicing, you will eventually start getting the answers to the question. So it's not a rocket science. It's not magic. It's just that you need to be consistent in like practicing one or two every day. And I'm very sure that we'll be able to, you know, uh, pass hacker rank with flying color. Yeah. And like I mentioned earlier, well, we do have a video um, with Perry Rising, your engineer here, with a few tips about hacker rank and how to get through that successfully. So if you have any more questions, feel free to watch that video. I believe it's pretty comprehensive. Um, I do see a little bit more, a couple questions about the interview process specifically. Um, like I mentioned, following your hacker rank, you'll be, you may be um, invited to interview with a specific team. The interviews would be a mix of behavioral and technical. You interview, you have a bit behavioral interview with the hiring manager. We'll ask you a little bit more questions about your resume, your experience, you know, your interests, things like that. And then you also have a technical interview with uh, a, soft, a software engineer on the team. There you'll be asked more specific coding questions. You might be asked to whiteboard, things like that. Nicole, anything to add there around your interview experience? Uh, so I think, uh I just feel that because I mentioned the resume is very important because my interview experience was that there was a round which was pretty much focused on the resume. So uh, the hiring manager would go over it and it's assumed that you need to know your resume well because that's what you have written, that's what you have done for the years. So as much as you practice coding, it's also important to practice the other parts of the interview as well. Okay. Um, I see a question here around if there's any specific training towards Commerce Cloud platforms. Um, nothing specific that I can think of, but again, definitely encourage you to just look through Salesforce's offerings and product offerings and things like that, just to make sure that you're familiar with exactly what that is and you're able to speak to that during the interview. You want to make sure that you're showing that you know, you've done your research, you know what you're talking about, you know what team you're talking about and things like that. Um, but Nicole, anything else to add there? Uh, a small thing, so what I did, so if you see that Salesforce is a big, big organization, right? We have multiple clouds and products running at the, at the same time. So just to support what you said, go on the website and just see and try to get the understanding of how the whole CRM product overall works. Uh, that should definitely be helpful in your interviews. Yep.
I'd also like to mention Trailhead. Um, that's open to everyone. So feel free to go on there, pick a course that, you know, to help you walk through a little bit of that, to help you walk through the structure of the company and things like that. Um, and that should hopefully help you prepare for those interviews. Um, is the new grad role open for recent 2021 graduates? Yes, it is. Um, again, encourage you to go on our website, open up those roles and look up the eligibility for those and apply. Um, could you speak or please throw some light upon data science hiring process? The process is the same across the board. Um, you know, you submit your application, you can flip the hacker rank assessment, and then you may be in invited to a behavioral and technical interview. All right, any other questions? All right. Well, thank you all so much. You've been a super engaging audience. These questions have been hopefully super enlightening for you. Um, Nicole, again, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're gonna let you get back to, you know, engineering and creating some fun products for us there. Um, thanks again for joining. Hopefully you're able to join our next session whenever that is and hope you have a great rest of your day.